The cleanup efforts continue across the state following the days of heavy rains. On the North Shore in Haleiwa, businesses and residents spent yet another day clearing up all the debris. Jen Beniza joins us now live from Oahu. Story with the latest there. Jen. Well, Dash, we've been here for most of the afternoon, and we actually had beautiful weather for most of the day. About an hour and a half ago, it just started dumping rain on us, and thankfully, it's let up a little bit. But yes, residents in Haleiwa, as well as business owners, have been working very, very hard to clean up the mess and debris that you see here. I'm standing on about two to three feet of rubbish and debris that have just been brought up by the flooding. Now, to give you an idea of exactly how bad it got, this is about 10 yards from the river, and then the high watermark is all the way up here that the edge of their deck there and I'm told that's at least 16 feet above the river's normal height. Heavy machinery and manpower. A number of community members and church groups came out to help clear the piles of debris and mud. Many picking up the pieces of their lives. Yun Ho has owned Korean barbecue for 16 years. <laughs> Thank you for, for, you know, everybody come here. She was working inside her truck when the water came. Yeah. Oh, so it just rose on you and you were inside. Oh, so that's how high it came up. Lisa Wainee lives next to the river, says her cars were submerged. It actually moved back to the driveway and then ended up there. So it just kind of gives you an example of the power of what the water was like. Dozens volunteered to help remove debris, but they've run into problems dumping it. They have no place to dump it. They can do two dump runs, and now they're telling us you can't dump uh, dirt and uh, foliage. It has to be you know, refrigerators, tables, you know, so where, do, where does it go? Residents also hope to get more city and state assistance. That our government officials just, you know, get their stuff together and help this, the community that elected you. As you can see, there's still a lot of work to be done here in Haleiwa. Of course, we are behind the old Haleiwa shops and uh, food truck area and just piles and piles of debris remaining to be removed. And speaking to those business owners as well as the residents, they are trying to pick up the pieces of their lives but really unsure how long it's going to take until they can get back on their feet again. Live from Haleiwa, Jen Boniza, KH1 to News. Back to you in the studio, Dash. All right. Heart goes out to a lot of those people. Great to see everybody pitching in.